in moments like these, when we're singing um, this song, it is a beginning ASL song, um, fairly simple as far as interpretation, only basically two verses and a lot of repetition. So a beginning person would have, I think, pretty good success with this song. There's just a few words that you're going to need to know, knowing that we do not um, work on things like is, are, was, were, be, but none of those are signed. All of that is incorporated within the meaning. Remembering it is not um, SEE or signed English. We don't do that. It is ASL and the words are comprehensive. It's just like uh, going into Spanish or French or Italian, any of those, it's not a direct translation. And so we do the words that are going to incorporate the meaning of the song. Um, in, your uh, dominant hand is pinched and you go into a like a cup with your non-dominant hand, take it in. Moments. If you think of your hand as a clock face, put your thumb in as a pendulum and your pointer finger just kind of a, a flick, like you're going just a moment past. And that's that L formation into your hand and put it down just a little bit. Moments. Like. Now, this like is whatever is here is like what is over here. And so you take the Y hand back and forth between the two. Like these. If you want to show people, do you see these? Your pointer finger into your hand. These. And so it draws the attention. These. Same. Oh, take your non-dominant arm becomes the audience and it's like you're going back and forth singing like a, a conductor in an orchestra or chorus are going to lead the singing. Well, that is the word for song or sing. Remember, it's, it's the concept. I, and that's a pronoun, and you're just pointing to whoever you're talking about. I being me, I'm same word, you're just pointing to yourself, just like he if it was God or you. Love. Oh, get a hold. It's like you're hanging on to it and loving it. Just hug tight. Now, sometimes you'll see them initialize it. Most do not. Just hang on. Hug or love. Jesus, you're going to look at the nail prints. I call them the feeling fingers. They're the center fingers. And you're going to touch the center of the palms where the nail prints would have been on Jesus. Jesus. Lift up. And you're going to get a hold of it and lift it up. Okay. Just grab and lift up. A voice. And you're going to take the V hand coming up out of the vocal cords out. You're going to lift up. Voice. And you're going to see the word my. That one is possession. Open hand toward the person that is possessing that. Mine is here. Yours his being God. Hands, and you're going to see them touch the back of both hands so that you can see you're lifting up your hands. Now, I have seen it done where you lift up your hands this way, but the problem is, is that's the word for surrender. And um, I don't think that is appropriate for this song. Two, your pointer finger going toward the pointer finger of your non-dominant hand. Two. Now, sometimes I don't use it if the meaning is incorporated. Sometimes I do if I think it helps the meaning. Lord, if you think of that ribbon that Miss America wears or you see the royal people wear it, the L hand coming across that ribbon from the non-dominant side down to the dominant waist. Lord. Now, I love you, there is a shortcut for that one. And that's where you see the I, the L, 
and the Y toward the person that you're talking to, in this instance being God. So you take it up toward God. So if that's more comfortable, it is for me a lot of times, and I will do that. It becomes a directional sign. In moments like thee, I sing out a song, I sing out a love song to Jesus. In moments like thee, I lift up my voice, I lift up my voice to the Lord, singing I love you, Lord, singing I love you, Lord. Singing, I love you, Lord, I love you. In moments like these, I sing out a song, I sing out a love song to Jesus. In moments like these, I lift up my hands, I lift up my hands to the Lord. Singing, I love you, Lord. Singing, I love you, Lord. Singing, I love you, Lord. 